Middle East 1820 the 21st of February 2018 updated 1831 the 21st of February 2018 get short URL the US led coalition is often accused of supporting terrorist groups in Syria including organizing safe passage and extraction from encirclements and hot zones videos have appeared on YouTube and Facebook allegedly showing the process of transportation of the terrorists The source from the town of Al-Hasaka, northeast part of Syria, has told Sputnik on the condition of anonymity that local people have witnessed U.S. helicopters landing multiple times on the territory of the local prison, controlled by Kurds, are then leaving. According to the source, they were taking away some of the Daesh band in Russia, terrorists detained in that prison. There have also been reports of U.S. military bringing munitions to this prison. Read more, U.S. traps over 50,000 people by sealing zone around its space in Syria, Moscow. This news comes on the hot heels of reports made by Iraqi media, which indicated that American helicopters were moving members of Daesh from the prison in Al-Hasaka to their base near the village of Abu Hajar in the eastern part of Syria. According to their sources, over 100 Daesh terrorists, most of them with foreign citizenship, most likely were brought to this prison by the U.S. from Dereezedzor. In December 2017, the Russian Defense Ministry accused the U.S.-led coalition of training jihadist militants on their base near Al-Hasaka to fill up the ranks of so-called New Syrian Army. According to the refugee testimonies, most of the trainees are ex-Daesh and Nusra front fighters. The spokesperson for the coalition rejected the accusations, saying the claims were absurd. Read more, Daesh's parting gift, hidden landmines in Jiraka's returning residence eyewitnesses also reported citing, U.S. military aviation, transferring Daesh commanders from the town of Al-Mayadan, covering it with airstrikes, just before Syrian army entered the city in October 2017. In 2018 Chief of Iranian General Staff Major General Mohammad Hossein Bakheri accused the U.S. of transporting Daesh terrorists to Afghanistan after they were defeated in Syria and Iraq in order to maintain tension in the region, using it as an excuse to stay there longer.